has been very troubled by a great burden on his back. He has read in his book, the Bible, that the city of destruction, which has been his home, will be destroyed, and he has decided to flee from the wrath of God. He has come to the cross and been delivered of the burden of sin. Now he is on his way to the celestial city at last. Now, as Christian traveled on his way, soon he came upon an alarming sight. A little out of the way lay three men, fast asleep, with fetters upon their heels. The name of the one was Sibyl, of another, Sloth, and of the third, Assumption. How can you lie here in such danger? Do you not know that the wicked one roams about like a roaring lion, seeking those whom he may devour? Wake up! Wake up! Go back is nothing but death. 
to go forward as fear of death and life everlasting beyond it. I will yet go forward. So Miss Trust and Timberwood ran down the hill and Christian went on his way. But thinking again of what he had heard from the men, he felt in his bosom for a roll that he might read therein and be comforted. But he felt and found it not. My roll! Oh no, it's gone! I must have, I must have it to present at the gate. The arbor, I must have dropped it in my sleep. Oh, why did I let myself fall asleep? Just look what it has cost me. Now I must go back for it. So Christian retraced his steps to get his precious roll. He felt great sorrow at his foolishness in sleeping in the middle of the day. As soon as the roll was in his hand, he pressed forward determinedly. By and by, he crossed the hill of difficulty, and it was very dark. Ahead, he saw the gates of a beautiful palace and thought he might ask for lodging for the night. Oh, look, a palace. Oh, I'm so tired. I wonder if they would give me a place to sleep. Okay. Oh, no. Are these the lines that the traveler spoke of? Soon he would face the devil himself. 